We are going to multiply a one digit number by a four digit number. So I want to break apart my four digit number based on place value. So it's gonna be 3000 plus 900 plus 40 plus eight. That represents the value based on place value of this four digit number. So I'm gonna draw my rectangle. I'm gonna make the top and bottom lengths longer because this second factor represents the number that goes in each row. This first factor is gonna represent the number of rows. So I'm gonna write my 3000 here, my 900 here, my 40 here, and then my eight here. I'm gonna write the expression of each of these factors in the rectangle. So I have seven rows of 3,000, seven rows of 900, seven rows of 40, and then seven rows of eight. It's okay that it goes outside as long as the students know what we're representing. So I know seven times three is 21, 10 times greater than that would be 210, 10 times greater than 210 would be 2100, 10 times greater than 2100 would be 21,000. Seven times nine is 63, 10 times greater is 630, 10 times greater than that would be 6,300. Seven times four is 28, 10 times greater is 280, and then seven times eight is 56. Now we're gonna have students take their partial products and then add them together on the side. I'm gonna line them up based on place value. And then add them together. So we have six in the ones place, eight tens plus five tens is 13 tens. Three hundreds plus two hundreds plus one hundred is six hundred. One thousand plus six thousand is seven thousand. And then we have twenty thousand here. So our product is twenty seven thousand six hundred thirty six. Now we have the four digit number as the first factor and the one digit number as the second factor. So we're multiplying a four digit number times a one digit number. So I know my rectangle, the side lengths need to be longer and then the top and bottom are gonna be shorter. So I'm going to represent it so that you can see it all in the video. So I know seven will be in each group. And then I'm gonna break up that four digit number again based on the place value. So we have 3,900. 40, and then eight. I'm gonna write my expression. So 3,000 rows of eight, oh, not eight, of seven. 3,000 rows of seven. 900 rows of seven. 40 rows of seven. And eight rows of seven. After time and pr lots of practice with these, this strategy, students will tend to not write the expression anymore. They'll just figure out the product and write their products in the rectangle, but it's a process. So when students are ready, they can do it that way. So again, three times seven is 21. 10 times greater would be 210. 100 times greater is 2100, a thousand times greater is 21,000. So we can look at it a thousand times greater, or we can say 10 times greater, and then 10 times greater than that, and 10 times greater than that. They'll both get us to 21,000. Nine times seven is 63. 10 times greater than that is 630. 10 times greater than that is 6,300. Four times seven is 28. 10 times greater than that is 280. And then eight times seven is 56. Now we're gonna have students take all the partial products and add them together. 
over on the side, line them up based off of their place value. Ones with ones, tens with tens, hundreds with hundreds, thousands with thousands, and ten thousands and with all the ten thousands. All right, so in our ones place, we have six. Here we have 13, five, six, seven, and then two. So our product is 27,636. We took a four digit number and multiplied it by a one digit number. We also had a one digit number and multiplied it by a four digit number using the area model.